Welcome back. A Valley hairdresser is working to make sure everyone gets the service they need. She's made a name for herself giving haircuts to kids with special needs. Our Lily Celeste had the chance to speak with the father of one of her clients. He tells us it's one of his son's only options for a comfortable haircut. It's on the other side. I got it, I got it. Five-year-old Alec Lopez has special needs. Okay, so Alexander, uh, we knew from the beginning he was, uh, he was special. When he was four, he was diagnosed with a sensory disorder. I'm sorry. He has trouble processing light, certain textures, and sound. Sound is the biggest thing. He hears a loud noise. We go into the restroom, wash our hands. When he turns the blow dryer on, he can't stand the loud noise, so I actually have to cover his ears. The confidence of a good haircut is something Alec can feel. The way he looks and the way he presents himself is very important to him. But because of his needs, a traditional haircut session is difficult for him. And that's just... Oh, 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 you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. The buzz of the trimmers and the cut hairs on his neck adds stress. Free, free, free. A few years ago, his parents brought him to Bat Cave Barbershop in Harlingen. We've brought him in pretty much every two weeks the last two and a half years. Amber Marie opened Bat Cave during the pandemic, but she's been doing hair for 15 years. So it's just understanding the sensory. She now specializes in haircuts for children who are on the autism spectrum or have sensory issues. She says this work found her. I had a parent come in and I could tell the child was on a spectrum. It didn't really bother me. At the end of the day, there should be a barber for everybody. Her passion for her kids comes from her own inner child. I had no idea that I was one of the only two shops in the entire valley that offered something like that. I didn't intend this to be for kids. I just happened to like Batman. She uses her knowledge of heroes and a few sensory techniques to make sure her clients are comfortable in the chair. I usually put on a movie that they're going to like, and at that point in time, I just talk to them. You're doing great, though, baby. You're doing great. Try to get to know them. Some of them are nonverbal. Regardless of nonverbal, I still talk to them. Baby, we're almost there. We're almost there. The power of a good haircut and a good haircut experience can't be understated for Alex parents. Amber has treated us like family ever since we've been here. Any time they could see discomfort, they reacted to it right away, and that goes a long way, because once they react and, and, and fix the situation, then their comfort level goes back to where it was, and the rest of the cut goes on with, without a problem. Lily Celeste, Channel 5 News this weekend.